Welcome everybody to this Black Friday sale extravaganza communicated to you via a jumpy animated GIF. Let me show you how to make it in Premiere Pro. All right, so this is what we're gonna export. It's going to go out to an emailer and you've gotta be prepared that it's gonna look nothing like that or at least not as good a quality. GIFs are a format that died and came back and they have quite limitations. So let's explore them. Uh, if you wanna follow along with this particular exercise, you will find in your social folder, in your exercise files, one called Fireworks. Drag that on and in your central graphics, go to browse. I typed in free sale, grab that one, change the color of the font, waited the fonts to load. You can do anything you like. All right, so now we wanna export it. So with our sequence selected, Command M, Control M on a PC. Okay, and at the top here where it says Format. Okay, pick Animated GIF. Not that hard. Okay, there's no presets. Okay, well that's the default one. Uh, we're gonna get it to go to a certain place. I've got on my desktop, which I've totally made really messy. Man, I feel bad about this. I'm gonna, I've made a folder called Fireworks. I'm gonna clean that up as soon as this course is finished. Let's mess it with my Feng Shui. Okay, let's hit Save. So what you want to do is you've only got to play around with video. Okay, and you've got these kind of few settings here for a GIF. The things that are most important are the size here and the frame rate. They'll determine A, what size it is, but also the file size. File size is super important for GIFs, especially this one. It's going out via uh, an emailer and lots of emails have restrictions on how big the total size can be, like 10 megabytes is pretty common. So we need to get it under there. So what we're gonna do first up, is I'm gonna change the size. My particular emailer is gonna go out at about 500 pixels. 540 is pretty common for an emailer that's gonna present nicely on lots of different email systems like Gmail and Outlook. Anyway, already we're seeing the quality kind of come down. It's unfit, so let's go to 100% so we're not looking at it too badly. Ah, oh, so bad. GIF format, the, the reason it looks bad is because yeah, GIFs are only allowed to, you know, they only have 256 colors to play around with. Whereas this had millions to start with, it's now trying to do the same thing with 256. So if you really want the quality to be better, what you really need to do is not pick fireworks in the background that has lots, that's using all the colors, okay? All the sparkles in the background. So pick something really plain. The nicest animated GIFs are often ones that are just have a couple of simple bold colors, okay? Not fireworks. But hey, we want a sale and nothing says sale like fireworks for some reason. Anyway, so we've got our size down to what we need for our emailer. Now the frame rate is the next part. So 25 frames per second is too much for a GIF. It ends up making the file sizes really big. Okay, and we need this to slip under the radar for an emailer. Let's start at 25 and we're gonna start queuing it up. Okay, and media encoder. And these are one of the joys of using media encoder. We can start, because everyone's is gonna be different. There's no like, you have to use 10 frames per second or this size. What you need to do for your particular case is go uh, duplicate. I'm gonna have three duplicates of that same one. Okay, so I'm gonna say this first one's at 25. This one, I'm gonna click custom and I'm gonna say, what does it look like at 10? Click okay. 10's my default. I use 10 all the time. <laughs> if, you need, if you need the long story cut short, just use 10. Uh, but it's not an absolute rule, but let's say what it looks like at five. So I've got these three different options. I'm gonna hit play, to get them all going. All right, it's gonna chug through those. Let's have a little look at what appears on this other one. There's my folder. So the first one, 25 frames per second, 9.4 megabytes, just squeezing in the 10 megabytes. Uh, this one here, remember 10 frames, and this one here at five. You can see quite a substantial file size change. Let's have a look. Look at that, basically like video, except poor colors, looks all right. Looks way better than it did inside of Media Encoder. Don't use Media Encoder's uh, preview as a really good gauge of what things are gonna look like. Okay, remember in here, if I go to custom, this thing over here is not a great visual. So if you're dragging the quality up and down and it's not changing over here, don't use this. Actually get it done and get it exported to see what it actually renders like. So great. That's, can you see, do you get the feeling? This feels more uh, animated giffy. That's kind of part of the part of the charm of an animated GIF is it's like stunted jitteriness, okay? And can you live with five frames per second? You might have to. You might need like ten of these little animated GIFs in your emailer, okay? Now quality you can mess around with the same thing, duplicate it a few times, and let's say that actually I'm gonna remember ten was my favorite, okay? Well, ten's my favorite now, okay? And you can then say this one plus 
another couple and play around with the quality slider and it will do nothing. I don't know why the quality slider is in there. It's only got 256 colors. I'm not sure what this does really. My animated GIF knowledge is I'm not an expert animated GIFer, but I make a lot of them. <laughs> I should know more. Okay, but you can play around with the quality and you'll notice I'm kind of just picking three different sizes. Let's go and let's have a look. You shouldn't be able to tell the difference in, maybe it's a bug with my one. Come on, Meteor Encoder, you can do it. It's stuck. There you go. <laughs> it's back working again. That was weird. Uh, so you can see they're all the same file size. Doesn't matter how quality it is. And they all look the same. Yours might be different. Mine never are. There you go. Uh, if you need the file size to be a teeny tiny bit smaller, okay, you can play around with the size. And so the physical size, 500. Zero, zero. Nobody's going to notice the difference in 40 pixels, obviously depending on where this is going. But an email, they won't. Quality to 100 because it makes no difference. And over here, the frame rate, you might go, ooh, there we go. Or maybe just a teeny tiny, maybe 10. And eke out some of the file sizes. Let's have a look. This last one is a teeny tiny bit smaller. Okay. And probably nobody's going to notice much in this particular use case that it is 40 pixels smaller. All right. Happy animated GIFing. Remember, if you want it to look even better, is to make sure that you use as limited color palette as possible. Because remember, we've only got 256 of them. You don't want to waste them on frivolous fireworks. All right, that is going to be it. And in a strange coincidence, it's actually Black Friday. It's not Black Friday. It's just Friday. Okay, it's Friday afternoon. I'm finished videoing for the week. Now take the weekend off. I will see you probably in a video in about, I don't know, five seconds. But for me, it's going to be a whole Saturday and Sunday off, and I will see you on Monday or in five seconds. It's the same thing. All right, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you do want to go further with Premiere Pro, you might want to join me for my larger courses okay, called Premiere Pro Essentials and Premiere Pro Advanced. There'll be links for both of those in the description. Hope to see you in the course. Bye.